Hi, so if you've just changed the battery on your CatEye Velo 7 and you need to calibrate it uh, to an in-speed uh, D3, we're calling this the D3 rotor, um, you need to set in the right WS or wheel size and this is how to do it. It's actually very simple. Uh, this is the what we're going to call the bar button that's on the front and on the back there are two little gray buttons one that's labeled uh, set and this one is labeled AC. The way to start the process is to set the is to press the the AC button and um, that'll start things flashing on the front. Uh, here uh, it's flashing kilometers per hour which is probably the way you found it if you've changed the battery. Pressing the AC button is another way to get there. Now you just press this bar button once to bring your uh, to miles per hour if that's what you want. If you want kilometers per hour, just leave it back where it was. So if we're happy with miles per hour, you go to the back and this time press the set button in the middle. And that'll bring us to the WS, which is wheel size. These are some pre-entered standard wheel sizes for bicycles. We want to go to the third or fourth setting, one, two, three, uh, where it says 205, and the custom entry is flashing. We want to change this number for a D3 rotor to 127. For different rotors, you might need a different wheel size. Refer to the instructions for that. And the way to enter 127 here is to press and hold the bar button until the 5 is flashing, and then press it twice to get to 7. Press and hold it again to get the 0 flashing, and then press it twice to make it a 2. Press and hold it again to make the first 2 flash. Press it once to get it to 1. There's 127. If at any point you go too far, you go past the number you want, um, don't worry, just keep pressing it until you come back around to the right number that you want. So now it's set to 127. Go back to the back and press the middle button here, the set button, once. You'll see that brings you to clock settings, uh, which we're not going to address here. Just ignore that, leave it alone. Go back and press this button again, the set button. And now it's calibrated and ready to go. So now you just clip it back into the uh, the clip by sliding it onto here. And then uh, you're ready to go. It's calibrated. Just connect the wires and you're ready to go. Uh, another good way to a little test it and uh, make sure everything's working right is just tap the wires together. And uh, you'll see it'll produce a reading. That's a way to make sure your, that your display is working properly. So there you go. Cat Eye Velo 7 wheel size calibration for an in-speed D3 anemometer. Have a wonderful day.